Well, that's not the last time that's gonna happen. I just did a really thorough, detailed run through about how you sell antler, and I realized that my mic was off the whole time. So here we go again. Today, I am selling my antler. I'm selling all this. Got a big set there. And all this stuff. It's all going away to an antler buyer today. So, I made a video a while back that talks about all the differences between um, grading antler. Basically what they will do is put your antler into three piles and uh, they're basically a condition rating. Brown, hard white, and chalk. I made a really intensive video showing all the differences between the three and so I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to know more about specifically grading antler. But today I'm just going to go through, put them into three different piles for the different grades and then when my buyer gets here, he'll go through and make sure that I have them all graded correctly and then he will buy it all by the pound. So I want to show you guys the process, show you guys what it's like if maybe you've never sold antler before and then you can compare this with your experience and know whether you're getting a good deal on your antler or uh, whether uh, you got shystered. Most antler buyers are good guys, most guys will take good care of you, but it is up to you as the person selling the antler to make sure that you get a good deal. So let's get this stuff divided up, get it taken care of. Now before you ask, no, I did not find all of this antler. I found probably a third of it, or a little bit less than a third of it, and the rest of it is antler that I've bought. Um, Part-time antler buying is something that I do to keep myself basically paid as a full-time media content shed hunter whatever you want to call it so i did not find all this antler so a lot of it i've paid slightly less than i'm gonna sell it for today that's the game i'll make like 50 cents a pound or so on all of it and that's what you do make a little bit of money That's a big set right there. Big old bull. Heavy too. These suckers are like almost 13 pounds a side. Your boy Josh Corbin picked these ones up. All right, I got to pretty much divide it up. Chalk deer, chalk elk, brown deer, brown elk, hard white elk, and uh, hard white deer. And that big set, I don't know if I'm gonna sell them for poundage or not. Feels really good to have that garage cleaned out, but it's already time to start filling her up again. Now to weigh these puppies up. So usually what'll happen, your antler buyer will show up, he'll weigh everything out, and he will just multiply it out and pay you by the pound. I'm working with an antler buyer that I've sold to at least 50 times. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weigh this out before he gets here. He and I, our scales are the same, so, um, I'm going to weigh them all on my scale and then he'll just buy them when he gets here. Alright, so I got all this set up. Um, all my colors graded out and now I'm going to start weighing it and I'm going to show you guys kind of what to expect when you start weighing antler. So, I have right here in front of me, that's my scale. So it's just a typical freight scale. I might check it. So you turn it on right there. That screen will read out zero. Now to me, I like to check the integrity of my scale every time I weigh. I know right here that this board weighs 14.9 pounds. So I check that against what my scale says. You guys can't see it. Um, it says 15.0. So Oh, there it goes, 14.9. So I will just lay the antlers across that. I'll hit the zero button right here. That freshens out the scale to zero. And then I'll just start stacking elk sheds on it. I think this scale has a 500 pound max, but I'll just stack them until they get too tipsy to sit on their square. Write it down, pull them off, and record the weight as I go. All right, so when you weigh these things, you wanna make sure that they're not touching the ground anywhere on any side. Because you can lose a little bit of weight if they're touching the ground. You wanna make sure that they're balanced on the board so you get a good fair weight readout right there on your scale. And then once they're weighed, record them, 
like that. And put them on the weight pile. So I got them all weighed up, all stacked up. Jared's gonna be here in a second. It takes a long time, really. Like, I've been working on this for a few hours now to get into this point. Stacked, ready, weighed, every grade individually and added up. So now when Jared gets here, we'll throw them in the trailer. He'll pay me and we'll be done. So that's what you can expect when you sell antler. Weigh it out by the grade, by the pound. He'll give you a receipt and they should pay you cash money. Feels good to have them out of my garage. So that's it, that's how you sell antlers right there. It took me, really took me four hours to do all that. Get them all weighed out, stacked out, loaded and gone. Got my money and uh, out of the buying thing for a little while, so there you have it. Thanks for watching, hope this was educational. I know that people have been asking a little bit to see that and there it was. So do you guys have any more questions about the selling of antler, the buying of antler? I realize that's kind of a little bit unconventional seeing as I'm an antler buyer working with another antler buyer, but it's very similar to what you can expect when you go through the process to sell your own antlers and to uh, you know deal with your own antler buyers and things like that. He'll typically grade them and separate them. But if you have any questions about grade, um, if there's an antler that you think should have gone to a different grade than the way he graded it, don't hesitate to stand up for it and make sure you get the best deal out of your antlers. Um, Prices fluctuate, they vary. I hesitate to even quote them because they're always up and down. But if you guys have any more questions about buying antlers, post them in the comments below. Let me know. And I also want to know this. This might be a little controversial. You guys ever been ripped off on your antler? Or have you ever had a buyer that felt like takes really good care of you? Either way, let me know. Have you ever sold them? Have you ever not? I love reading the comments. I love reading the stuff that you guys have to say. I find it super interesting, even if I don't always have time to reply to it. But thanks for watching the videos. I really appreciate a subscription to the channel if it's something that you want to do. If you're not ready to make that commitment, just keep watching the videos and hopefully I'll win you over some point down the road. Thank you guys.